hello friends welcome again and this is my new project hotel booking system and i have developed this project in java spring boot angular and mysql for spring boot i am using 2.1.6 release and the uh, angular version i am using angular version 14 that is the latest version for now and mysql version i am using 5.6 on the id side i am using sts spring boot tool suits and the uh, uh, visual studio code for angular that is Spring Boot tool suits for the API development on the Spring Boot, and uh, for port I am running port uh, I am running the API part means uh, the Spring Boot part on port eight zero eight zero and the uh, Angular part in port forty two hundred right. So these all technology stacks I have used for developing this project. That is the hotel booking system. So let's start with the functionality. Go through that what we have implemented. What are the features available inside this project hotel booking system right so the project title is hotel booking system and it's a major project with two roles right that is the user and the admin admin has separate functionality users have separate functionalities right we have integrated three types of ui here one is for front end second one is for the admin login third one is for the admin operations right so these three types of login systems we have uh, sorry these three types of ui uh, we have integrated in this uh, project right so once you run this project on port 4200 you will get this home page you can see this is a very good home page and it's a bootstrap theme right so you can see these all are the uh let's see a uh, home page right so you can see these are the room types uh, which is coming from the database all the images and all the data is coming from the database right if, if you want to change it then you can change it right so there is an admin panel for that right and this is for the single hotel i have not developed it for the multiple hotels right so this is a home page this is about project and if this is about the project this is room types all of the room types which is available in that hotel will be displayed here if you click on the room type you will be able to see all of the room types which belongs to that room type right even you can search your room from here also right if you want to search any type of like uh deluxe room right anything so it totally depends on you what type of so you can see these three other deluxe room which is available right so this is the cost and showing and the maximum adults and total beds are showing also right if you want to see the details search click on the see details and after that you will be able to see all of the things here right you can see deluxe room and these are the details and after that these are the if you want to book it then you can book it from here right so booking from date booking to date and these are the details right and if you want to post comment then you can log in and post the comment also here right so this is the room type this is all rooms all of the rooms which is available will be displayed here so we have added eight rooms in the hotel so eight rooms are displaying here this is a login this is a customer login from where customer can log in and customer can book the rooms customer can see his booking history and everything customer can perform right so there is a sales customer operations we had developed there is admin login i will show you later these are registration if you don't have user id and password then you can't book the room right so for booking the room you must have user id and password then you can create your user and password from this form right this is a contact us form right and this is a dynamic contact us form if you submit the information if you fill all of the information and if you submit it then it will be saved inside the database right this is a feedback form and this is also a yeah, dynamic form and uh, you can fill and those all information will be saved inside the database right okay so now i am going to book a room right so first i am going to log in right so customer login and the user id is amit at the rate gmail.com and password test test once you log in this is the customer dashboard right this is the customer dashboard this dashboard will be different from the admin dashboard right here you can see home about us all room types all centers my bookings right it's my accounts so if you click on the my bookings you will be able to see all of the bookings right what we have made earlier if you click on any of the bookings then you will be able to see all of the bookings so you can see this is the booking details what we have booked earlier right this is all of the things and you can print from here also right okay now i am going to book a room right all rooms and these are details and this uh, i want to book from 20th to 32 right total 
two days right 1000 per day so for two days it will be 2000 rupees right so you can see that 2000 amount has been reached here right you can't edit it right and you can enter the card number this is a dummy payment gateway there is nothing dynamo on it and a type you can select whatever you need this is a dummy right this is not a real payment gateway once you click on the make payment you will be able to see all of the uh, things here right so you can see this is a booking receipt one room you have booked room number 105 this two days two days right room rate one and total room cost is 2000 rupees right so this you have booked right so this other billing items i will show you later this is for the admin purpose like admin can add any number of items here right so i think let me show right if it's available in previous booking no it's not here also right let me show you it's not here also this yes it's no also right let me so this is the booking number 297 right i will add some of the other amenities here and those items should be displayed on the front end also on the billing items details right this is a my account section from where you can update your account details and the logout this is a session driven menu and if you click on the logout then whole session will be destroyed and this upper menu will not come right you can see it has been changed right now i am going to log in as an admin right so log in the user id is admin and the password is test so this is the admin yes this is totally different layout from the customer right it's an admin level it's a totally different layout right so this is a room management from here you can add new rooms so you can see we have added eight rooms here and all of the information so if you want to add more rooms you can add it from here right here you can select the room type and after that you will fill the information you will choose the image and after that you can upload it this is the room type management you can add the room type add new room type this is all bookings all bookings which has been made by customers will be displayed here this is the latest booking which we have made now right so you can see okay that's correct detail right this is all booking. this is the ad booking if admin want to book a room for any customer then he can do that right here all of the customer id will be displayed here all of the room displayed from date to date and all of the things will be displayed here and there is no payment gateway here once you select all of the information if you submit it then all data will be saved in the database and that room will be booked this is a billing management yes this is a billing management what i was saying earlier so add new billing item now i am going to add in 397 billing categories food items product name suppose paneer butter and is a 200 just uh, food items right so right, right so it's added right now i am going to modify some of the information like this one right i am going to associate this with 397 this one also 397 summit yes uh this one also but four items so i'm not going to add items one by one so i have changed our writing for this all of the product side now if i click on this and go on the all bookings then you will be able to see yep this room id has ordered this number of items and total amount customer need to pay is this amount right this 2000 plus 1140 it's a 2000 right okay so this is the all booking side right? billing management okay this is a billing category right you can add because you currently we have three categories food items spa laundry right this building category will be displayed here in the billing management here uh, this one is uh, food items you can see this is the laundry right you so this drop down is dynamic right all of the drop down which we are using in the system is dynamic right and data is coming from the database okay this is a billing category this is a customer current management right this is all customers we have in the system if you want to add new customer just click on the add new customer and after that you will be able to add a customer from here this is employee management you can add the employee this is a contact support this is the same report right 
if any person submit the contact us page then he will be able to see means admin will be able to see the all of the contact us information here same for the feedback right and if you click on the logout then all of the session will be destroyed and you will be redacted to the login page right so this all information now i am going to show you the customer also so that one is amitadgmail.com this is the my bookings and this was the last booking and you can see now these items are coming on the customer billing items also because customer order a right for the room 105 right so these all informations i have developed these all functionalities i have developed inside this project which is hotel booking system right i know that this is a less feature but if you need any enhancement any extra feature in this project we can incorporate it right so don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies and thanks for watching the video thank you very much